When it comes to giving advice, it's always better to give said advice based on the person's exact situation. Well, you know, the person asking for the advice. And I base a lot of advice on the agent's financial situation, the state that they live in, you know, the areas that they're working, and their sales background. But since I don't know your exact situation, I'm going to give my very best advice in general for anyone looking to sell in the senior market. And hopefully, you'll get something very positive out of it. But first, please. Give me a big old thumbs up right now, and if you haven't subscribed, do that now with the notification bell on, and then what's going to happen is you're going to have access to everything you need in the entire world to be a billionaire. Oh, okay, that's not true. Let's just roll the intro. My first piece of advice is to either find yourself a local insurance agency that can train you face to face, belly to belly, or at least find a good mentor who has an intensive training platform like the one that I have. No guys, I'm not saying that you should come work with me, but yes, well, you could do a lot worse. And before we go any further, if you'll kindly hang around until the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to get a copy of the ultimate cancellation letter for like when you do a replacement sale and you want to make sure that the other carrier has your client's notice of intent to cancel in writing. Ah, along with the policy summary, let me just do it this way where you'll write down your client's monthly premium and draft date so that you're actually leaving them with something professional that shows exactly what they just bought. So we talked about training. Again, my best piece of advice is to have access to really good quality training along with a mentor that you can always get a hold of. My second piece of advice is to make sure that this is really what you want to do. Do your research. You have no idea how many people get licensed to sell final expense or Medicare only to tell me like, you know, three years later that they still have never even used their license. Go all in, man. Don't mess around. You just don't want to have to do it. If you're going to sell insurance part time, make sure you actually start selling part time right from the get go. Your insurance license is a money printing machine, trust me, but it's only going to work if you plug that sucker in and flip on the switch. Keep in mind guys, our industry is lead driven. I love that an experienced agent can spend like, I don't know, 500 bucks or maybe even a thousand bucks every single week on leads and go out and make like a bunch of sales. If you are the type of person that can easily, or maybe not even easily, but figure out a way to come up with at least two or three thousand dollars to get onto a fixed cost leads program, then you're probably the type of person that can figure out how to make a lucrative, I mean, a really, really good living at final expense or even Medicare sales. If you're not the type of person that can come up with a few thousand dollars for leads, don't take this wrong. That tells me that your personality, your person might not be the type of which is driven enough to be successful at selling our products. Please don't take this the wrong way. What I mean is if you can figure out a way to come up with money when you don't have money, then you're probably the type of person that can figure out a way to be highly successful at our industry. And if you're not resourceful enough to come up with a couple of grand, how are you going to be able to convince people to buy insurance products? Uh, no, just hold on a second. Think about it. People that are good at figuring out a way to make things happen will always figure out a way to make things happen. Some folks are naturals at sales, leaders, while other people are better at customer service, followers. My final piece of advice is for someone who is already selling in the senior market. There are insurance agents and there are insurance producers. Unfortunately, the average agent struggles to make a couple sales per week or maybe like a handful of sales each month, while the producer has a system that makes it easy for them to go out and produce like large amounts of sales. And we're talking about 10 to 15 plus sales every single week. So my advice is this, if you're just an agent, find a way to become a producer. 
In most cases, that means sacrifice. I have a, a little saying that you may have even heard me say before on one of the other videos, and it completely pertains to anybody in our industry. If you have the right work ethic and are willing to sacrifice a few short years of your very long life, one day you will never have to sacrifice anything ever again. There's a reason that some of us are making hundreds of thousands of dollars per year and others have been in the industry for many, many years, like years and years, and we'll never know what it's like to make anything over like the median income of, you know, like 50 or $60,000 per year. Don't you be afraid to step up to the plate and be more than like your neighbor, be more and stronger than your cousin. Do what it takes to become completely financially independent. For a copy of the cancellation letter and the policy summary that I mentioned earlier in the video, just email me at doug at ufesonline.com. And if you'd like to learn more about our intensive training and sales platform for either final expense and or Medicare agents, just shoot me an email at that same address. Remember guys, when you put the needs of your clients first, everything else will usually fall right into place. Now get on out there and do something good for someone today. Happy hunting.